Andy, uh, a win in the FA Vars on penalty shootout. <laughs> Did your nerves take it towards the end there? Um, do you know what? I just had a feeling that that we were going to do it. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Started having a a little thought about um, Jack Atkinson's dad because we won on penalties away at Maltby, and uh, just delighted for him. You know, delighted for the club. And to be honest, we shouldn't have even been in that position because um, listen, I'm not one to to come on here and talk about refereeing performances, but. Their only shot they've had all day is the shot for the goal where he's blew up for a free kick for us and then he's give for some reason they've took a quick throw and, and they've scored from it. But other than that, Jack's not had a save to make and I feel like I'm a bit of a broken record with that but the lads are absolutely outstanding and that shows a mental strength and uh, you know resilience to come back from that and what a fantastic team goal for Connor's goal and then you know to go on and uh, win it on penalties. Fully deserved. Definitely, you mentioned Connor there. I don't think he'd been on too long um, yeah. before he, he got the goal and that seemed to sort of give everyone a, another <coughs> boost. Did you feel that at any point during the sort of final 15 minutes you might have won it in the, the 90? I, I thought we... Do you know what? I thought we were... I'm not... I, the lads give so much and, and we deserve so much more from the... It was just probably... You know, the lack of finishing, we've had a lot of attempts on target and it, we just weren't, you know, catching them right, whether that was to do with the surface or, or just, you know, a bit more composure in them areas. But, you know, you think Harry Brazell's had a good chance first half and second half that normally Harry Brazell scores them and, you know, he could have probably walked to having that trick today. Um, but other than that, again, I said last week, away days are the best days and... You know, that there at the end is, is what it's all about. Um, fantastic following again and, you know, thanks for everyone for travelling for us. Definitely. It, it certainly looked like uh, quite the celebrations there. I think Joe Denman was the first to, to jump in the, the fans there. Yeah. What do you think it, it means to, to, the, to the fans for the sort of come away from home and, and get that, that win on penalties today? Well, it means everything and I think they would have been absolutely devastated like the players and that's what's great about this club is because we all feel the same emotions together. Uh, you know, when we, we feel high, we feel high together. When we're low, we're low together. But, you know, today's about, um, again, a resilient performance, a squad performance. You know, losing Jack Tin in early on. Resilience to come back from that. Joe Denman sitting in at left back. Niall going in at centre half. You know, we're nursing a few at the minute. And, you know, with the games that, uh, you know, we seem to be playing one every seven days or ten days. And that's hard because, you, you know, you train, then you play, and then you don't play for a while. And you know, again, people don't realise the, the, you know, last Wednesday for North, which we didn't find out till three thirty. A lot of lads had booked time off work, and it's tough sometimes. And um, listen, I, I'm so proud of the club again today. Um, and let's take this into Tuesday night. Let's really get going again Tuesday. You mentioned Jack Tin in there. Is there any sort of early indication you can give us on the particular injury? <laughs> Sometimes with hamstring injuries, you might not have done them. Uh, you know, he, he didn't feel anything pop, but he felt a cramp, which, you know, coming up a hill like this, it's, it's tough. So we'll get him in to see Alan. He's already seen Aidan, but we'll get him in to see Alan Rohr and uh, fingers crossed it, it, it won't be too long or sometimes these things can just be a bit of tightness but you know we'll see where we're at. Um, obviously uh, another player that's played in that, that left back position uh, is Jake Kenny, he's, he's missed out over the, the last couple of games, have you got a, an update on him? Yeah he just, uh, he just felt his uh, knee slightly, uh, when was that now? I think it was a couple of weeks back or something uh, so he was due to play against Northwich but um, what we decided was that we was going to rest him today um, and, and see, see how he's feeling after the weekend. So uh, we'll know when we train Monday where JK's at. But, you know, Jack Tinning's a super player uh, and, and Jack, Jake Kenny, you know, he's, he's been outstanding for us. So um, to bring him in as well, it just makes us just as strong. Definitely, and obviously Captain John O'Hunt uh, out at the moment as well. Is there any update on a, a time scale for his return? Yeah, he's back on the grass now, so he's, he's been doing a bit of running, um, you know, so he, he shouldn't be too far away now. Fingers crossed he'll be able to get uh, minutes in the upcoming, you know, seven to ten days. And obviously back to the, the league on Tuesday, a game against Thurl and back at the, the Newman State. I don't think it's two games in seven days it's going to be against Thurl before we go to there. 
place uh, a week on Tuesday. What you, you thought said of that one? Is it going to rain? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Um, listen, we need to recover. We train Monday. Um, we we know what we're capable of doing in, in games, and um, you know, uh, Erlem are you know we've been to watch them and. You know, they've got some players that can hurt you uh, on any given day and we've got to go into that game and, and treat it like any other game. And You know, I can't stress enough now because we, we have got um, a lot of games to catch up on. We, we need those fans, uh, you know, we need that 12th man, we need everyone behind the team and, and the squad and uh, just being energetic and positive because days like this today is because of all our efforts, not just one individual. Cheers, Andy.